Welcome to my first Crane Bandy video tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up your own web server on Windows XP using a software bundle called XAMPP. I use a program, as you can see up here, called Enso. It's basically a command line utility for Windows XP uh, or any Windows operating system, I'm pretty sure, that allows you to use commands like open or go or play song to uh, to execute things on your Windows machine. It's it's also called a launcher. It's what a lot of people refer to it as. So let's get started. Crack open a beer or your favorite cool beverage. Uh, and let's do this. Open up your favorite browser. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna be using cr Google Chrome for this video tutorial. And we're gonna navigate to ApacheFriends.org. This is the site we're going to download Zamp from. So. Once you get here, scroll down, click on ZAMP. It's going to take you to another page where you can select your platform. We're going to be using Windows XP, so we click Windows. And here it'll tell you a little bit more about this version of ZAMP that you're going to be downloading, what it comes with. Uh, so as you can tell, it's Apache, the latest version of Apache with OpenSSL, MySQL, PHP 5.2.6, and PHP 4.4. PHP MyAdmin, that lets you uh, modify and create new MySQL databases. An FTP server if you're... Uh, in need of that and a mail server. Anyway, you can read that. Scroll down to where it says download. Click ZAMP. It's going to take you to a list of ways you can install it. We're going to use the self installer because it's the middle as far as size, file size is, and it's just easier. It's going to take you to a SourceForge page where you're going to download it. I have already downloaded it, so let me go here. And once you're done downloading that, let me know. And, uh,. Navigate to wherever it is you saved it, and you'll see this. You should see this, and double click that, and it'll get the installer going. Um, sorry, Windows. Okay, after you double click it, you can choose your language. I'm pretty sure you're going to use English, so just go ahead and move on with that. It's going to bring you to a nice wizard interface so you can install this. Go next, just leave it uh, at the default install directory. Go next, we're going to install Apache and MySQL as Windows services. I'm not going to be using FileZilla, the FTP, but if you want to use that, go ahead and check that as well. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video tutorial, so if you do check that and you want to set up the FTP, you're, uh, you're on your own after that. Anyway, check those, go install, uh, and for the sake of time, we're going to go ahead and fast forward to the end of this, so you can see when the install is done. Okay, almost done, and bam, it's going to pop up a bunch of uh, executable scripts to finish the installation. Uh, just go ahead and wait let it do that <clears throat> click finish it's going to bring up a couple more and it, it ain't it ain't, ain't, ain't it ain't no thing just wait all right all together this the, in, the installation from no web server on windows xp to a fully functioning web server is probably like three minutes it's awesome all right a little notice saying everything went smooth it's asking us now if we want to open the ZAMP control panel. What this is, it's a little program that comes with ZAMP that allows you to look at what you have installed and whether or not it's running. Uh, it lets you stop it, administrate it, and things like that. We're just going to select yes so I can show you uh, what that looks like. This is the ZAMP control panel. And as you can see, we didn't install FileZilla as a service. We can, however, change that and then start it in the future if we want to. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. All right. Now... In your web browser, go to HTTP localhost. Now, this is the ZAMP intro page. You can do all kinds of cool stuff and look at your installation of ZAMP. But by the way, if you see this page, that means you actually have a fully functioning web server that you can call your very own. Isn't that awesome? Uh, anyways, open up or navigate to your My Computer, ZAMP, whatever. How, if you still click to get there and you don't use Inso yet, I'm, I'm sorry for you. Go to your HT Docs directory. This is your web root. This is what you're going to use uh, when you navigate to localhost. For example, right now it's forwarding you into this directory, and then we're looking at files in here. I'm going to show you how to do the hello world, the classic hello world script. So go ahead and open up your favorite IDE to edit code. Uh, mine is Zend Studio, but it's already open for the sake of time. So open that up. In your web root directory, which is htdocs, see this index.php. We're going to go ahead and edit that. 
we're going to get rid of this the majority of this code that's in here leave the PHP opening and closing tags simply write echo hello world save it go back to your local host remove that's pretty cool right you can just type go and just go between windows I think it's cool anyways erase that go to index.php instead localhost index.php bam hello world oh, I'm sorry gotta keep that in there all right now we're cracking <laughs> uh, there you go you have your very own web server installed and running on Windows XP so now you can write scripts and test programs and debug applications all of that good stuff right on your very own computer and web server again just so you know C XAMPP htdocs this is your web root so you can delete all this stuff for all I care whatever you want to do but this is where your local host is going to be pointing to so just note to self all right uh, until next time take it easy